Hello, my lovely Leos. This is your November. What are they thinking about you? General reading. This is for Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have Nine of Swords in Reverse, The Hermit, Ten of Coins, Nine of Spears in Reverse, Five of Swords. Ooh, the Devil. Ugh. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Ten of Spears. So I feel like there's an energy here of just really taking on a lot, Leo. I feel like you might be taking on a lot in your life, um, at work, you know, just really not delegating it out, not assigning tasks. I feel like you're just trying to do everything yourself, which is a Leo attribute. I feel like Leos like to do everything themselves. You know, they, that's just how they are. And that's how my daughter is. She's a Leo and she doesn't want anyone to help her. She wants to do everything herself. Um, so I feel like by doing this, though, you're really stressing yourself out. You're Or you're getting burnt out in a situation, okay? You're carrying all these these wands, all these burdens around. So I feel like right now you're just feeling really pressured at this moment in time, okay? Okay, where you're coming from, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there was a lot of mental anguish. I feel like you were really in your head. But because this is in reverse, I feel like you're putting this in the past. I feel like there's now hope in your life. I feel like you're leaving behind any past traumas, any past anxieties, any past worries, any kind of like negative thought form of just feeling like you're very hopeless. I feel like you're putting it all away. You now see that there is hope. And I feel like this also talks about reaching out. You know, you could be thinking about reaching out to someone. Okay. Or maybe someone reached out to you. Spirit, why is Nine of Swords here? Please tell me about Leo. Where are they coming from? Tell me about Leo, please. Why is Nine of Swords here, please? Yeah, see, I feel like you were definitely stressing out. We have Nine of Swords upright. So I definitely feel like you were in your head, um, you know, up at night, just thinking about a situation, thinking about someone, something, an energy. Yeah, I feel like there was someone here that just wasn't ready to commit to you. Page of Swords, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you know, if you have kids, some of you could be worried about your kid or your child. But I feel like there's someone here who didn't give you the commitment that you were seeking. There was someone here that was in for themselves and not putting forth the energy. And I feel like you didn't get the offer you wanted or you had to pull back from this person. Because this person caused a lot of worry, a lot of unnecessary stress. So I feel like you may have released this person, okay? Because how you're being seen as a hermit. So I feel like you withdrew. And I feel like right now you're in deep contemplation mode. I feel like right now you're searching for truth. Um, the hermit is someone who isn't around a lot of people. This is someone who likes to be by themselves or likes to be by themselves when they think about things. So I definitely feel like right now you're being um, seen as someone who's in contemplation um, you may have removed yourself from a person and I feel like you're just searching for truth. You're searching for your inner guidance. You know, the hermit is someone who seeks out the star. So you are seeking out your own happiness. Why is the hermit here, please? Yeah, there's definitely someone here. It's another earth card, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, there's definitely someone here that I feel that was just like, wanting just wanting benefits or just not wanting to put in effort I see you know um this is someone that could have weighed heavily on your mind clarify knight of pentacles please too many just one please knight of pentacles yes yeah, I feel like you're you're being seen as not wanting to spin the wheel. I feel like you're being seen as not wanting to take control, not wanting to be controlled of, okay? I feel like someone is now seeing that they had bad luck with you. And I feel like you are done worrying. You're done stressing out. And I feel like you're not going to put work into a situation without seeing the results of it any longer. I feel like you're really putting your foot down. Right now, you're trying to change your life around. You're contemplating on how to turn this wheel of fortune the other way. 
okay? And I feel like it's going to turn around because what's coming towards you, we have 10 of coins, okay? So I feel like you guys, a lot of you have money coming your way or something very stable, something very, very long-term with the 10 of coins. There's definitely something coming towards you with positive energy. Could be a Capricorn because we have the devil here, okay? What's coming towards Leo, please? Clarify 10 of coins. Could be a... um. A Virgo or a Capricorn. Yeah, it's, it's what you've been waiting for. There's something you've been waiting for, and I feel like it's coming. It's on its way. It's definitely on its way, okay? Um, it could be, for some of you, maybe it was a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, but I feel like there's someone here that was, you know, may have gone cold on you, um, wasn't being very compassionate to you, you know, wasn't really well balanced emotionally. And I feel like you are disconnected from this person. And I feel like now you're looking, you made a decision, two of wands to leave. Three of wands, we're waiting to see if this panned out. You're waiting for your ships to come in. I really feel like it's going to come in with the 10 of coins. Who is this king, please? Could be an X for some of you. Could be definitely be an X. Who is this king? Ooh. Too many. Could be a very unpredictable energy, someone that you're out in the cold with. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Yeah, definitely could be someone that you release. Um, I have Capricorn twice here. So I feel like if some of you disconnected from a person because you felt things have been unbalanced, I feel like with the devil in reverse, whatever was holding back has been released. Um, Someone has restored control back in their life, okay? So someone has um, getting their affairs in order, getting their life back together. And I feel like they want to come towards you. You've been waiting for this. They want to grow with you, okay? But mutual energy, we have Knight of Spears. So I don't know if you entirely trust this person um, or if this person trusts you. You know, I feel like both of you aren't taking direction towards each other. I feel like there's kind of an unpredictable energy here. The Knight of Spears... I'm, Oh my gosh, the Knight of Spears um, in reverse is kind of like my, when it's in reverse, it's definitely like a detached energy. So I do feel like mutually you're both feeling detached and I feel like you're both upset about something. Okay. You're both not happy about the situation. Why is the Knight of Spears here, please? Yeah, you're both not happy that you're not communicating or that things have slowed down. And I feel like you both have not moved on from each other. But you guys are just distracted with other things. It is pentacle energy, so you could be distracted with responsibilities. Um, you know, other things that are just popping up. Work, family, things of that nature. And I feel like you guys don't want to waste each other's time. But I definitely feel like this person is um, coming towards you a little bit differently. Okay. How they feel about you. We have five of swords. So I do feel that this person, you know, this is how they feel about you. So they might not know what you're up to. They could be feeling that you're a little bit sneaky. Okay. Um, you may have cut this person out and they don't know why. Why is five of swords here, please? Yeah. They're feeling that this connection is like a failure, a loss. They're feeling like you're not, they're not giving, um, getting your attention like they used to. I definitely feel that um, they feel like you're punishing them or you, they feel like you're withholding conversation to punish them. Why six of wands in reverse, please? How does this person feel about Leo? Yeah, see, ten of spheres, they feel burdened by this. They're definitely burdened by this. It's almost like. You know, someone wants to win. Um, they feel that someone wants to win and someone wants to always be right. And this is really weighing heavily on them. It's like they know they have to do something. Um, but this person also has a lot of responsibilities and a lot of burdens. Advice from Spirit, we have the devil, which is a kind of an odd um, advice card. <laughs> but, you know, with this devil, this talks, this is chains here. Okay. And I, this is someone who looks a little crazy too. Um, but this is bondage. This is darkness. So I feel like sometimes, you know, honestly, if you are feeling tied to a situation and 
it does more harm for you than good, I feel like you really need to consider your priorities, okay? Um, love is love, but it should be organic. It should flow organically. Love shouldn't hurt, okay? Why is the devil here, please? I feel like there's a lot of um, misunderstandings here. You know, I feel like there's definitely someone that, you know, you're desiring. Um, with the moon here, it's like a lot is not known. Clarify the moon. And I feel like it's time to heal. It's definitely time to heal over this. It's definitely time to refocus what is a priority in your life. It's time to rejuvenate yourself. You know, some of you might want to rejuvenate connection with the Capricorn or a Cancer Pisces. But I feel like now is the time to really just balance out your emotions. Um, especially if you're over drinking or using substances, um, you know, playing into addictions or focusing on the right, the wrong things. I feel like Spirit's saying, you need to focus on the stars. You need to look to the stars. It's time to reevaluate your life. It's time to heal. It's time to balance out your emotions. And most of all, it's time to go after wish fulfillment. Okay. If something is burdening you too much, if it's hurting this much, it's definitely time to look at your priorities in life and see where you're at in life. And if this is where you want to be. It says lavenders. Love, love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Okay, and so they're on this boat and there's turbulent waters, but he's still holding on to her and they're still being guided. So, you know, true love will always prevail. Okay, definitely true love will always prevail. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of burdens going on and I feel like there's a there's an issue of trust here. I feel like both of you are having a hard time trusting one another. Um, you both don't know what each other's motives are. You both question each other's motives. I almost feel like a really comp competitive energy here. Like both of you want to be right um, or don't want to be wrong. That's what I see. Very competitive energy. Okay, and it says spiritual connection. The, this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime and you see how they're connected psychically um and there's chemistry here okay there's definitely chemistry and i feel like you know it's really hard to let go because even though there's external factors even though your head's telling you one thing your heart's telling you another you know, sometimes it's really hard to disconnect from some, someone that you have a spiritual bond with because you try to move on, they try to move on. But no matter, no matter what, there's that lingering tie that is divinely there. And, you know, they're thinking of you and you're thinking of them. And then it keeps pulling each other back to the situation. And I feel like there's passion here. And, you know, for some of you, this could be a past life connection um, or a soulmate that you're dealing with. And I feel like you guys just both have a lot of burdens on your shoulders and you guys are both just, you know, distracted with everyday life. And I feel like this person couldn't give you what you were searching for. And I feel like, you know, that was because of everything around and then in the external environment, but it doesn't change the connection. It doesn't change what it was or the power of the connection. Okay. So, Leo, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you love and light. Bye, Leo.